Okay, so this is your wiring setup for the EG4 6000 XP. Okay, these are your solar photovoltaic uh, cables, your positive, your negative, positive, and negative. Okay, that's for each MPP charge controller. Okay, and you need to use these things here, which I'm currently putting in. I, this is, I know this isn't right. I'm putting in the adapters. I've got them up on the top. Here's your, uh, what it is, is you're putting in your hot, your second hot, your neutral, and your ground. Simple enough. This is your load, hot, hot, right? And then for, if you're connecting to the grid, um, by pass-through, generator, same configurations, too hot, connect to the neutral, and then to the ground. Here is your configuration for your batteries. Okay, these are the main things that are important. And your orange cable, this is your, right here, this one, that goes to your batteries. Hence, your batteries are set up in a certain configuration with the dip switches. So you can see that. And then those go to the other side. I'm starting to clean all this up. So this is how between it with this, with the proper pieces, this is what's currently being configured. Uh, this is for parallel mode. Um, these are your communications cables. They say you're only supposed to need one, but somebody on tech support told me to go ahead and put both because there was some communications issue. But, I mean, if you think about it, this isn't very complicated. Um, these wires are bigger. I mean, they are on the bigger side uh, for the load, which, of course, goes to your load uh, switch here the breaker and um, some people are only putting like stuff to support you know 30 amps or whatever I'm adding extra because there's nothing wrong with having a bigger wire so keep that in mind um, I am going back through and I'm putting in the ferrule connectors so this is uh, what you're supposed to do here to clean that up. Those screws do not have to be, you know, down to a 200 pound tight. There is a torque setting, it's in the book. Please take a look at that. Um, I just went outside, as you see, my uh, cutoff switch for the PV is up. And the reason for that, because we've just spent the entire night getting these coming out. This is going to be all caulked in here. And there's going to be a piece like this and then a box that goes actually here. So this is the PV wire that you're going to order from Signature Solar. Okay. It's thicker, and especially if you have to run that through uh, through piping, like we did, that's what you're going to want to do. And if you use this wire and not the stuff from Lowe's, it will come out looking beautiful. So keep that in mind. Um, again... The MC4 connectors going into that, which is all going to be in conduit. Just have that like that for temporary. I'm going to order a bunch of these. These are awesome. So I have blanks here on each one. Technically, this other one is blank. I'm just putting a wire in there temporarily that goes into nowhere. Um, I know it'll backfeed, but I 
I'm setting this up temporarily. It's going to be under the building and it's going to be uh, free from water um, possibility. There's no way it can enter and flood here because this is, um, well, the side of a mountain. Um, but, so the um, solar carport, right? The Chico solar carport, which holds 24 solar panels. So 12 of those panels are going to plug in here. And 12 are going to plug in there. And the other panels are obviously going to run from the hill where our other solar panels are. And we're going to add two more panels there from the old set, which I have in, in uh, the storage area. As you can see, we have taken the time to um, get uh, vinyl siding on the building. Um, we've been trying to get some things done, and this was a big one. Um, so we wanted to make sure we got that done before we got the rest of the carport stuff done. We're prepping for the carport. So um, this is uh, this is definitely good for that. Um, so again, for this wire, just go ahead and buy it from Signature Solar. Don't buy it from Lowe's. Um, this stuff's designed to be outside in the sun. It's also designed to be able to be run through, um, you know, a little bit more, um, cause it's a thicker insulation. Let's be honest. It's a thicker insulation. Um, I, it's, it's better wire overall. Um, so that's that. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and, uh, like and share. Again, I will put the um, links to, uh, again, the inverters and um, the solar PV wire uh, in the description of this video. So if you're looking to get solar, I'm trying to put this out there, not from a making money perspective, but from a perspective of if you want solar, by God, go for it. Stop giving your money to the, I want to call them evil power companies and the re regional transmission organizations and the regional generation stations and RTO or, and so forth. Um, I do understand if you work for a energy company, I understand the lingo because I used to work for one. Um, so, um, Stop giving the evil energy companies your money. Go off grid. Um, you know, just make sure you do it right. Of course, all of this is going to be in a control box here and conduit going down into the ground and over to our other area there. So thank you very much. I hope you liked the video.